hello folks just going to show you a few more logo golf balls i found recently and a few normal golf balls that are unusual for different reasons so i'll do the logos first start with this one it's probably just somebody's name that they've had printed on in dark blue i don't think that's actually a company but um on a perfect tailor-made tp5 very nice next you've got this one cranham golf with the dark green and the light green logo up there, CG. Not heard of that, don't know where they are. That's on a Strixon distance, very good condition. Next, this one here looks like it says SJW, and then there's some other bits to it. I can't work out what that's supposed to be. Some kind of shapes around the, the letters there. Can you see that? Well, I'm sure you can, but what are they supposed to be i don't know anyway sjw um that's on a really good titleist dt true soft next this is a interesting logo hard to work out what it said when i first saw it because it's been hit a few times but it looks to me like it says suez s-u-e-z suez and then envir environment or something written in slightly weird spelling um you can see because it's a bit scuffed it's hard to work out exactly what that says i think it was environment but you can see there's a double n there just above my fingernail n n e and then i'm assuming that's m m e n t so is environment and then the blue bit says something like United, you can see bits are missing, so I'm filling I'm filling in the blanks basically. And I presume that'd be waste, because if that's environment and waste, if you see what I mean. So I think that's what it says. Suez Environment United Waste, I think. So green, blue, and yellow dots is the logo, and that's on a pinnacle gold. You don't get many pinnacle golf balls with logos, so that's that's an unusual one. I'll have to look that one up. Next is one of the very interesting ones because I've looked this up. I can find, if you Google Palette Force, you can come up with a company with a logo that's in orange, but the, the actual logo part is slightly different. That's obviously supposed to be palettes stacked up. So maybe they've changed their design since this was printed. And it's on a Slazenger ball, which I can't find anything about, really. Uh, Slazenger Beta TI <clears throat> 432. I've Googled that, I found one website that's got a review of these balls, but the actual article doesn't have a date on it. So that would have been helpful if there's, if you ever write an article on the website, date it, please. Um, so I can't tell you what year this ball dates from, even though it's just been found in April, 2022. You know, someone might have had this in their garage for years. It might've been in a packet or whatever then, but they've only just used it. Um, so anyway, there's that one. And obviously, any info on that particular ball when they when they came out when they were sold in shops i'd love to know next i got this one shona 2021 xxx so i presume that's just someone's gifted that to somebody titleist tour soft next now this is a good one ABGI Accelerating Innovation, and then on the other side of this Titleist True Field Ball, which is in mint condition, Inova Systems. Now I googled that, and I found that that's a company in Histon, uh, which is part of Cambridge basically, just north of Cambridge. Innova Systems, and they sell things like 3D printers and CAD, uh, computer aided design software. And I looked at their prices, and they, they say their prices are usually from somewhere like 6,000 to 10,000 pounds per user so if you were selling to a company you would have to pay that amount for the software to for them to provide oh my god that's blooming expensive software um but anyway that's what they do inova systems they're in histon cambridge if you want to look them up i didn't look up that abgi part of it but two logos for the price of one so very absolutely mint condition ball like that one and next I've got this one that says Cambridge Country Club. It's got two stags as part of the logo. So somebody's played at Cambridge Country Club. And that's another true field ball. 
So that's the logos, only a few compared to what I normally get. Um, and I just want to show you a few balls that I found which are interesting to me. I'm sure everybody knows Titleist, the number one ball in golf, made by the Akushnet company. This one, it feels slightly misshapen. Uh, it's like a bala the old Balata cover, the old soft covers. Yeah, I can feel that doesn't feel quite in shape. But it's got Tour 100 on the side. I'll have to look up what year these came out. Back in about 1988, I used to find lots of golf balls that said something like 384 Tour 100 or 384 Tour 90. This just says Tour 100, so maybe this was a bit after that. Maybe this was like a early 1990s ball. I'll have to check that one for you, but that's... Nowadays you find all the different variants of Pro V's, but it's very unusual to find one like this, so I reckon this dates to the early 1990s. So again, how the hell is somebody playing with a ball like this in April 2022? Well, that's when I found it, but because you can see the condition, it can't have been sat in grass and leaves for years, because that's when you do that, balls end up really badly stained, the, the, the leaves decompose and you end up with this stuff you can, you just... It's almost impossible to clean some golf balls when they've been lost for like 10, 15 years or something. So for some reason someone had a mint condition one of these and they've only just played it. <laughs> Interesting. So let's move on to the next one. Might as well show you this. I'll just show you it because it's hacked up. Possibly been hit by a lawnmower at the golf course I got this from. And if I open up the flap of material, there you go, because it's got a purple ball inside it. So that is a Callaway Hex Black and it's got a couple of chops. Two or three chops, so yeah, that can't have been a golfer. That's that had to have been hit by a, a mower. You can see the purple there. So, this would be a two piece ball. The inner ball would be what counts as one piece, and the outer cover would count as uh, the second piece, I presume. So, that's that. Next, I'm just going to show you this Callaway. Get loads of those, they're a very popular make. Callaway Chrome Soft. I've had lots of those, but I've never had one that said practice on the side. So does anybody know, are practice balls different to the normal balls? Or is it just simply that these were given to, say, professional golfers to hit on a practice range and someone's managed to pocket it? That's what I suspect. So anybody knows anything about that, let me know. And I just want to show you, I found this. Um, this was buried. I used a kind of like a rake tool. I'll have to show you how my tool one day that I use. Um, Dug this up. This is the sort of ball I used to find in like the mid 1980s, like 1987, 1988. I used to find lots of these in used condition even then. So I would date this ball to 1988 or earlier. And you can see how faded it is. These would have been white at the time. It's now it's almost yellowy orange. <laughs> and lastly, just want to show you Nike ball. Obviously, I think Nike stopped making um, golf balls in about 2016. So again, this is absolutely mint condition, so it hasn't been sat long where I found it, and um, it's in perfect condition. So again, how does that happen? How do, how do people end up hitting balls that were made in 2016 in 2022? <laughs> so again, do people just have packets of them on their shelves in their garage or whatever, and then they eventually get around to using up the last one they had or something like that? It's, it's just strange to me that balls that I know are years old are, are being found in mint condition in 2022. So anyway, there you go. Nice Nike ball. Underneath this, I'll leave you a link if you want to click on it. If you want to see my other videos, I've got over about 70 videos showing off the rest of my logo collection. So 70 videos if you want to watch everything else I've got in my collection. I might be willing to sell them at some point. I might even sell them for cryptocurrency. Um, so uh, something like Bitcoin, possibly. I'm open to offers anyway. Have a look through them. Uh, if you put them on display, uh, I've got about 4,000 logo balls. So you'll have to work out how much space that would take up, how many square meters. But you could put them on a nice big wall somewhere and put them on display. That would be my idea. That's how to make use of them. Anyway, for now, I'll say thanks for watching. Click on the link, as I said, underneath this video if you want to find my YouTube playlist with all my other logo golf balls. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.